What's going on guys, it's a student investor and in today's video I'm going to be talking about my journey into finances and what led me to invest. So uh, the whole personal finance thing and the whole investing thing was sparked within me at a very young age. I mean I took an economics course back in high school right around I think the 10th or 11th grade and that class was immensely engaging for me like I mean like just learning about how a company trades learning about what a public share is learning about what investing is i don't know something about that at such a young age really engaged me and then from there that was just the beginning of all the research that i've done and i've i've, I've done so many readings it, it, it's it's it gotten to a point where i was actually focusing more on learning on how to invest my money back when i was you know 16 17 than actually doing schoolwork and doing homework which is funny but i owe it all to my economics teacher i mean if that that built such a strong foundation for me and it was so engaging that i've i've built my wealth to uh quite a considerable point for somebody my age i'm 21 years old and i really hope that this video expires younger investors and inspire younger people to get into this at a younger age because time is really on your side and you're going to see that in this video and i'm going to go through all of my accounts and talk about them so behind me is my m1 finance roth ira it's logged out right now because I, I was talking for too long but i'm going to log back in and i'll see you on the next clip all right and we're in so behind me is my m1 finance account uh you are looking specifically at my roth ira and this is where things get exciting i mean this is one of the first accounts i've opened along with my roth uh along with my Robinhood account at the age of 18. so i've grown this portfolio to a considerable amount for what it has in it i mean it, it wasn't much at the time uh because i started this when i was 18 but you could see my holdings and you could see what i've done with the account and this actually i did not learn in that economics class i had to do some research about this and i figured that you know a roth ira was perfect for me because i'm uh, uh creating an account at such a long age and having that time advantage to really compound your wealth uh that's that's something called the compound interest and it's very important if you want to grow your wealth over the long term and specifically in this account i focus on dividend investing I'm personally a dividend investor, so I'm going to talk a little bit about that too when I talk about my Robinhood account. So scrolling down the list here, uh, you can see all my holdings. I have a total of 49 positions uh, spread across funds, ETFs, you know, ETFs and just individual stock picks that I think would uh, are very good growth stocks or that pay dividends. And if you could scroll up, you could actually see my cost basis. Uh, I put around $2,532.94, and that today is valued at $3,085.48. That is an unrealized gain of 21%, which is actually very good. I do wish I contributed to this a lot more, but I didn't. And if you guys are wondering, oh, like, oh, wow, how did you get the money to, you know, invest that amount, you know? what what did you do really it was just working a minimal wage job i mean i i don't have a crazy job i don't make crazy earnings i don't make crazy money but it's just really working a minimal wa uh, minimal wage job working retail that's just how i got all this money and this you know it's it's i i've realized that at a young age that it's really not about the money you earn it's about what you do with your money because there's a lot of people out there that are you know six-figure earners but they just have no idea how to grow their wealth and it's very sad and for me you know i didn't want to be stuck in a position where i would have to work for the rest of my life for you know for 30 40 years just to have a decent retirement um i, I don't like that idea at all so you know I, I think that's what really pushed me at a young age to invest and if you're watching this video right now and you're 18 you're 19 you're 20 you're 21 like me uh go ahead and create an account go ahead and start investing and you know learn bits and pieces it's okay to fail and when i jump into my robin hood i'm gonna actually talk about how i failed and you know what i started with over there hey guys we are now in my robin hood account and if you could see that total market value right there that is quite a bit of money right 
so i'm just going to be talking about this account and it's this this is where it gets very exciting because this is where i start to put the pieces together and i start to realize like wow i'm really on to something here and i've i've grown my wealth to a considerable amount and i believe that it's it's just really really about consistency and i really hope to inspire some of you younger people out there to really go and start investing because listen this account that you see in front of me right now right now I started with $100, and with $100, I didn't know what I was doing, right? In 20, 2018, when I created this account, I had no clue what I was doing. I mean, I was blowing the money on, on penny stocks, really BS penny stocks. And I thought, I was like, wow, I could buy like 100 shares for a couple couple of pennies, a couple, uh, a couple of dollars on the penny. Uh, and I'm like, <laughs> and I was just holding the, and then I took the money out, I mean... I, I just didn't know what I was doing. I actually lost a couple, uh, I think I lost a couple hundred dollars or a couple thousand dollars that first uh, year of investing uh, until I turned 19, where I, uh, you know, started watching videos about dividend investing. And that's when I made the realization, that's when it clicked that, you know what, maybe I should just follow the path of my Roth IRA. And if I invest in my Roth IRA for consistent money and consistent growth, I should also be doing that with my uh, individual brokerage account because that would mean that, you know, I don't have the worry of waking up and seeing my account down by 90%. It, 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 it really gives you a clear mind and a, and, a, and a very clear pathway into investing more consistently and investing more often. And that's just one thing I'm going to touch on too. I started with $100 and while I was working, I was actually contributing $100 a month set that account so that's how you see the money right in front of you today it's not just you know i grown a hundred dollars into this uh that would be extremely lucky and that would have been insane if i did that but you know i didn't but you know uh it's really about investing consistently so what you see in front of you is literally the 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 product of just me investing consistently a hundred dollars a hundred dollars a month until i up that to two hundred dollars a month when the pandemic hit um as a newbie investor you know when that pandemic hit everybody was jumping out of the market like mad and i just knew i just had this gut feeling that i should buy back in it is a scary time but you know none of these companies are going to go away for the foreseeable future if you invest in good companies right and if I could get these companies for the cheap and they're going to be paying me dividends, that's just going to lower my cost basis. So, yeah, it's scary. I woke up and I remember when, you know, you know, uh, COVID was going around the U.S. rampant and I opened my Robinhood account and I was down by four thousand dollars. I think at worst eight thousand dollars. I I stuck it. I mean, I did not pull a single dollar out. And I was just contributing more money and I was buying like mad. So that that's also really, you know, added to my wealth overall, being able to stick it and, you know, just do what I believe in. And that's another thing. If you're young and you want to do anything in life, really, and especially invest, you really got to stick to it. You really got to be consistent with it. And as you can see, it, it works out. It, it very much works out. And I'm very proud that I was able to, you know, hold out and, you know, buy when everybody was jumping ship and just selling off and taking those profits. And I was just buying back in and I've literally like doubled my wealth from that point. I think I was, I only had like 15,000 at that point from, you know, investing. And then it's today valued at, you know, 36,000, almost 37,000. So going down the list, um as you can see i hold a lot of vanguard funds i also hold a lot of individual stocks some reits thrown in there some tech some uh telecommunications uh some medicinal marijuana and some ev stocks and the reason for that is because um i figured that if i did dividend stocks i could actually have a chance to you know use this wealth and you know diversify and maybe buy some real estate down the road and that that's maybe going to turn out to be a reality with how this portfolio has grown so much but as you can see you know i've started out with only a hundred dollars guys 
and look at look at what I've I've, I've amassed it today. And if you count my Robinhood account with both my Roth IRA, my net worth to date right now is at 40k, and that's just adding the two accounts. So that's pretty great. And I really owe it to to YouTube and just being consistent with how I wanted to learn about stocks, because it's it's one thing to apply what you learn, and it's always another thing to go back and learn from your mistakes. And it's very important that you learn from your mistakes at a young age, because if listen, if I were to stick to penny stocks, <laughs> that number that you see on the screen would be a lot, lot lower, maybe in the red. So yet again, if you're young, and you know you you want you 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 want to get into personal finance and you want to invest the only thing you have to do is just start that is the only that is the only boundary that you have stopping you if you have some money saved you know and and if you think you know what you're doing go and try it because if you fail you have plenty of time to make up for it here's another account that i have this is my gemini account uh, I've talked about this when I was talking about the AMP coin. If you haven't seen my first video, I really suggest you go back and look at my first video about the AMP coin if you're into cryptocurrencies. And also, if you guys like the content, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification if you want more of my uploads. So, uh, looking at this account, I hold a few coins. I hold uh, Sand Cube Engine Coin, a uh, little bit of Litecoin, and I hold uh, the Stable Coin. I hold Chainlink and AMP. I talked about AMP in depth, so really go watch that video if you want to know why I'm holding that for the long term. It's really interesting, and I really like cryptocurrencies since I've jumped into it and made the dive into you know diversifying into it. So that brings up another point. Uh, if you're a new investor, really go and research and really know what you own. Don't just buy these currencies or just buy these stocks or funds because you, you see them going up in price. You really want to understand what you own and it's going to really help you out in the long term for when you want to grow your portfolio and you want to contribute or you add more money to your account and you're like, oh my God, what should I buy? You know what you're going to buy because you know what you hold and you understand that what you hold is valuable. So with that too, um, as a 21-year-old young investor, obviously I'm in college and you know it's crazy because literally the stock market has paid off my loan and i'm about to show you that right now when i go into my um my navent loan account and you're gonna see that i have actually paid off a loan and that's uh that's all due to the stock market because um if you do have loans or any of that it's really important that you do invest as well because your investments will really outpace your loans people don't know that but if you know you're just using cash money and you're paying down these loans it's going to take you a really long time but if you were to grow your wealth at a constant steady pace you could actually catch up to your loan and it's gonna it could make it to a point where you could actually pay for your loan for free and that's exactly what i did because you know i've i've amassed that amount of money and i was like thinking about wow i could just really wipe out my debt right here right now and it, it's crazy to think that i'm 21 no debt whatsoever and with that amount of net worth and it is just crazy that i just stuck with it and that's just the most important part know what you own be consistent and just research all the time you gotta every 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 year that you trade you got you you want to know something new you want you want to be like how can i you know really really turn this portfolio around or really just just constantly grow at a steady pace and that's just the most important part because listen when you're 50 years old when you're 40 years old and you were and if you were to do this back when you started at 18 and you go back and look at where you started it, it's going to be an eye opener and, and just for you to do that it's a very amazing thing so you know this is just you you want to get out the cycle you you don't want to run the rat race you don't want to work a corporate job for 30 years you don't want to be somebody else's slave you want to be your own boss and you want to make your own money when you feel like it. And if you want to do your own things and you want to go and spend money, take trips, take flights, you're going to need to do this. That's 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 the only way you're going to detach yourself from corporate America if you really want to live a life that's truly your own. So now I'm going to go and log into my other account so you could see that I actually paid off my loan. All right, we're here at my Navent loan account. And as you guys can see, I actually paid off a student loan. That's a huge milestone. I mean, there's uh, in America, 
it's a lot of bad financial debt and there's a lot of most of that is attributed to student debt because you know when you go to college college is very expensive i mean it, it's it's no joke and you know you could really encapsulate yourself in a very bad situation if you don't know what you're doing and you go and you you take a, you go to a very expensive college and you just come out and things just don't go the way as planned i mean life is changing all the time so you really got to be on top of that and you really got to make sure that you're doing the right things to get you there but what will get you there is investing and as you could see i i paid off my loan and i know it's not much you could see the original principle down there and how how it is but a loan is a loan man and you you always got to pay it off and you got to pay it off in full so that's great and um i'm actually also going to show you my credit score because i did say i i do want to diversify into real estate later down the road and you guys are all going to be with me for the journey i mean this is why i created this youtube channel because i really want to show young people that it's possible you could escape the the rat race you don't have to work a nine to five for the rest of your life you don't you don't it, it, it's you you could you could escape you know financial debt and and it's very possible to make a living like this and have a great one at that so i'm gonna go over to the other screen and you're gonna see my uh credit score and you know i'm gonna also talk about like what i did to maintain that and what i did to start so you can see right there 720 very proud of that and if you go to the history um it'll actually say when i started so i started uh may may 30th of last year that's when i got my secure credit card and if you don't know anything about credit i will also be making a video about credit and all the basic financial things about investing you know how to get started a little you know basic investing series so if you guys like my content guys please sure to like comment and subscribe and i really want to comment if you're a young investor and you do have a portfolio whether it's robin hood webull cash app let me let me know down in the description you know what you've been investing and in, what you're doing and what's that portfolio value because listen if you if you just keep on with it it's gonna be great and i and i'm really glad i've stuck with it and i'm very proud so um i started with a 697 and then there's a point where it dipped down because you know when you use credit your credit utilization goes up and then you know that affects your fico credit score so it's gonna adjust and make uh account for that and then you can see i i gradually got myself into seven into the 700s stood there for a while dipped down below you know paid some things off went back up and then uh my highest score to date is the 734 you know just this march of this year and that's very good and now i'm steadily in the 700s and i plan to stay there for a while because you're going to need good credit if you want to get a mortgage on the road and i want to get some rental property so hopefully you know everything goes well and i get to cash out some of that robin hood cash so i could go and buy a duplex and all of that is going to be documented here so i want to say a few things if you're young just start it, it, it look at look at my journey look at look at what i've been through i started exactly when i turned 18 but i i did a lot of research it wasn't with a lot of sacrifices especially my grades man <laughs> i wasn't i'm not great at school whatsoever but i I, I'm really good at personal finance and I, I think this is truly like just a good it's it's just a good thing and it 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 lifts a weight off your shoulders knowing that if you stay consistent and just knowing that just knowing that I'm at such a young age and I have such a long road ahead of me just to you know grow it's it's immense and I'm very proud and I, I can't wait to see what I could do later on in life so listen if you're 18, 19, 20, 21, even older than that, if you're 40, 50, start investing, guys. Go ahead and do it. And you watch my videos. Stay tuned because I'm going to have a whole series about it. And you're going to learn with me. That's it, guys. That's the end of the video. Hope you guys have a great day. And if you didn't check out my AmpCoin video, go and check that out. I'm logging off. It's the Student Investor. Keep on investing.